Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to Chapter 1-3, which is the final uh, checkpoint of this Chapter 1. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed so far. We're going to immediately, pretty much after all those cutscenes are done, we're going to go out of the house and we're going to start heading on to the next section. Here you just want to continue moving. Do not stop whatsoever, or else the chainsaw guy will get you or will be hit by the Mr. Axe Thrower. Here, just keep running. Uh, immediately go to the left side. Wait until you're a little bit up further, and then go right, and then dodge left quickly. And you should be able to get by everybody, and it shouldn't take you too long to figure that one out. Uh, next up, we're going to be doing kind of a wide turn here, so we're going to be making our way to the right. But do it in a, a little bit wider of an angle so that guy doesn't have a chance to hit you. Here, just try to be smart about not getting hit, and you should be able to get in here without taking any damage as well. We're going to use the key, of course, to uh, open this up. And we have a little bit of a breather, we can kind of relax a little. I always love the music in Resident Evil series, it's, it's always top notch. So, here we're just going to grab whatever items that you actually can. <clears throat> and uh, one thing that I want to make a mental note of is in this chapter, snakes will be introduced. So, in order to combat against those snakes, what you're going to want to do is just pretty much use your knife twice whenever you open up a box, just to be safe. We're going to pick up that spindle there, and we're going to jump down. There's a few collectibles that you can get up here. Now, whatever you do, um, we're going to grab every single blue medallion before we actually go and turn it in. The reason that you want to do that is if you only do the required 10, you're going to get your upgrade, or you're going to get your new pistol for free. However, you won't get a free upgrade with it. So if you do all 15, you'll get a free upgrade with it. So make sure you grab every collectible that you see here. And, of course, always use the... Um, the method of, once, once we get a little bit further in the chapter, you're going to see that I'll start using the method of doing the double, double hits uh, with the knife. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. This is where he's going to tell you that uh, you need to collect 10. However, we're going to do all 15 before we see him again and turn it in. So here what we're going to what want to do is we're going to sell anything that we have that is a high value except for the things that can go into other things. So pretty much the uh, the pearl pendant, uh, the pocket watch, and the elegant headdress. Ah, we're going to sell those. We're going to get 30000 <laughs> That specific 30000 we're going to be using ah, a little bit later on, uh, which is going to be price. in the next uh, <laughs> section, you. which I believe is chapter 2-1. Ah, uh, <laughs> thank you. Sell all your spindles. You should have about 16,000, depending on how many you picked <laughs> up. You. I picked up eight, but maybe you've picked up a little bit more. Buying? And we're going to buy attache case is in. Now, this is not a requirement. You <laughs> don't have you. to do this, but this is a walkthrough in its purest form. Uh, this is meant to, to help people, not meant to uh, hinder them. So, therefore, we're going to go ahead and grab it. That way, we have a bigger inventory and that we can manage items a little bit better. Here, we're going to move up just about halfway, and then we're going to go ahead and shoot the two birds' nest, one in front and one behind. This first one here uh, lets you get a hand grenade, and the second one, I believe, is some uh, rifle ammo. Now, 
Now, we're going to be taking out every enemy in this area. You don't really have to if you don't want to. But there are a lot of really cool things to pick up in this area, and I, I definitely recommend uh, to stock up a little bit. All you want to do is, I was hoping she would actually fall down, which normally she does, but sometimes they don't fall down. Uh, just remember there's going to be a guy right behind you. As you can see, it took three shots to knock him down. When it, and Usually it only takes one, but sometimes it can be random. So that's why we pick up extra ammo, because you never know in those situations where you might have to take three shots instead of just the normal one that you're going to think you have to do. So we're going to be shooting the crows as well and pick up the rest of our medallions. All eight medallions are going to be in this area. The crows will just drop a few helpful, you know, money items. Not a big deal to get them at all. It's just, uh, you know, if you want them or not. And there's a third medallion straight up front here. And there's two more in this next immediate area. And then there's three more under the bridge. And then you will have all 15. This can be tough right here, especially if you don't want to take any damage because you got one guy that has dynamite. So my strategy for this is to really focus on the guy with dynamite. Now, you might have a better strategy for this. Maybe you just throw a hand grenade or something, but I didn't want to waste a hand grenade if I didn't have to. Usually, if you hit him enough times, he'll eventually try to throw. He'll get staggered, and then he'll blow himself and others around up. You can usually do that without wasting so much ammo, but unfortunately, this was how it happened on mine, so... The first of two in this uh, immediate area is going to be right here. And we're going to knock on the door so we can get a little bit of a cutscene. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. All right, so we're going to round the corner, but we're not going to go down. We're going to go into the back of the church. There's going to be a puzzle back here as well as another medallion. But we have two enemies to take out, another dynamite enemy, so get him out as quickly as you can. Once you've done that, then you just have to worry about her. So shoot your one shot. Hopefully it takes her down, and then you can do the rest with your knife. In my case, she does drop some ammo, so it's pretty much like, uh... Or no, wait, that's the next one. Uh, you'll get ammo plenty in this, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Here is that second one in this immediate area, and now all we need left is three. You can see how hard it can be to aim sometimes. I really like that feature in this game, that the aiming is very up and down, kind of like it, how it is in the Splinter Cell series. So the, uh, this puzzle is very simple to do. You're going to do three threes, three fours, and one three. That is going to get you the insignias. Now, if you're a, a true hardcore player and you want to learn those insignias for yourself, but I've already told you the clues, but if you want to learn how to find those out, they're all in the graveyard that you were just previously at. The ones with the big headstones, that's how you know that those are the three engravings that you actually need. And then you can figure it out from there. Now, there is a little... I wouldn't say it's an Easter egg, but it's something hilarious. So if you turn around about right here and you aim up, if you shoot that bell, about five or six more enemies will come. I don't recommend it, uh, obviously, unless you just want to kill some more uh, ganados. <laughs> Again, the methods I always use here are going to be shoot once and then try to knife. Take out the enemies first before you grab the medallions. You've got one thrower and then one guy who rushes you, so I tried to get up and uh, kick him, but unfortunately because the other guy dropped something when I killed him. It made it tough, and I couldn't actually you know, grab it. So just shoot him until he's down. I mean, like I said, handgun ammunition isn't that big of a, pr of a deal right now because we're just going to get plenty more. Right there, I did get pretty lucky not to take any damage. So clearly, you know, maybe you could use your shotgun if you wanted to. You've got plenty of ammunition. It's up to you. Here you're going to shoot uh, the medallions. Again, it's a little bit harder to do from further away. As you can see, it's just so much wavy around. There's going to be one there. There's going to be the second one is going to be underneath right here, and then the third one is going to be back in the opposite direction underneath. 
And then that is all the medallions. Now you can actually upgrade uh, to the next handgun with an additional upgrade. Meaning that uh, here's your snake. So this is where you want to do your double. That's your first snake. Uh, if, you, if you hit him again, you, you know, take away the egg. Now, you could sell the egg for money, but um, I wasn't sure how many hits I needed to do when I did this. So I actually just hit him twice, and then I hit it again, thinking that maybe it did, that you needed three. But you only need to hit the box once, and then hit the snake once. So a total of two, and that's it. Take the egg, sell it, use it if you have low health. Now, pretty much everybody knows the strategy up for this next room here. We're pretty much going to use a flash grenade that's going to destroy all of the crows at the same time. Uh, the game will give you another flash grenade, so... So, you use one and you get another one back, so it's not like you're wasting any. Although, you could have three flash grenades now instead of just two, because you could have just shot the, the one crow that you needed to get the flash. But it's not big of a deal because we go around and actually pick up a lot of stuff. Obviously, you go around, pick up things you see along the way. Now, there are a few things that I missed. There's like two boxes that you could pick up when we first entered this room, but it's not a big deal. We, we, you know, my goal is not to pick up every single box I see. Just the ones that I think are going to be relevant to what we need. And of course, we'll be coming back here a little bit later for a boss fight. Now, the right side is always random, but the left side will always be that. Uh, once we go back in here, there are a few boxes we can hit. Other than that, we're going to go see the merchant, and we are going to get our brand new weapon. Make sure you also sell your original handgun as you no longer need it. And remember, if you get all 15 before you talk to him about the weapon, you will get an extra upgrade, an extra firepower on that handgun. If you do 10 and then you talk to him and then you get the other five, you will not get that upgrade. So you need to make sure that you do not see the merchant until you have got all 15. Sale, stranger. So we're going to go to the buy screen, Boy, and we're going quiet. to buy the Punisher. Now, as you see, Punisher Firepower is level 2 instead of level 1. It will be level 1 if you only do 10. So just place it anywhere in here, because we're going to sell our handgun and then just put it back over there. <laughs> so you could sell it first <laughs> if you, you want. It's up to you. What are you selling? Make sure you're selling the right handgun, of course. That it's not that it's not that much. It's only 3950 <laughs> But you have some spindles that you can uh, that get rid of here for a few extra thousand. <laughs> now, you. this green cat's eye can actually go into the beer stein. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it in there. I don't know if I'm going to get the other two, but obviously, the more you mix into the beer stein, the more money you will receive for it. All right, that's it for this section here. We're going to go ahead and move on. Next section is fairly easy to do. Uh, you won't really have to worry too much about enemies. We do have a boulder that we're going to need to dodge here, just like we did in uh, the previous chapter 1-1, I believe it was. Again, from this point on, I'm, on a, I'm going to always kind of be weary if I if I see that second snake to make sure you uh, melee twice. Now there's obviously a few things that you can get in this area, but there's also a lot of traps that you need to avoid, and it's just, it wastes a lot of ammo, and there's a lot of things you just don't need to worry about. So go ahead and grab this grenade here, and then we're going to shoot the dynamite. If you do that, it should take out the gun. Just do it before he gets a chance to hit you. Do the same thing here. 
and uh, stick to the left side. That way you can avoid both of these guys. And then just move on to the uh, final section of this chapter. And we have a little bit of a boss fight. So I'm going to teach you how to get around that boss fight without taking any damage. Um, there's speed routes that you can do. What I'm doing is not really a speed route method. It's more of a just making sure you get through it clean uh, without uh, taking any damage. All right, so once you saw what, what is awaiting you, obviously, uh, Leon is a little afraid to go forward. We're going to go ahead and pick up this red herb. I like to make sure that I have my herbs mixed, because if you mix all three of the ingredients, you will be able to get a kind of like a level up, more max health. Even though we've not taken any damage up to this point, uh, there's going to be a point where it's going to be very, very tough not to take damage. Again, I'm going to make it my goal, but make sure you hit that right there and you can uh, pick that up. And then obviously pick up everything else in this area before we move on. Take the yellow herb and go ahead and do some mixing. As you can see, we can mix that yellow. So now we have two yellows, so two potential level ups whenever we need. But we don't want to use it until we've actually taken damage, so that's why you still see them in there. We're going to go ahead and save here, even though I didn't need to because I complete this a first time go. But it's always better to save here. Uh, especially if you don't want to have uh, death on your screen. You don't have to because you'll just start right back here. But all the things that you've picked up, you'll have to re-pick up again and whatnot. So if you just save right here, then you're pretty much golden. You're good to go. So save there just to make things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. Now, if you actually shoot the water about four or five times, uh, you'll get a little Easter egg surprise. Uh, however, I'm not going to do that. So do that at your own risk. <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start this boss fight. Uh, it's very easy to do. I mean, uh, you shouldn't take any damage if you just follow exactly what I do. You know, there should be no times you take damage. But it can be a little bit random. It can be a little random. So let's do it. Okay, first off, make sure you use the D-pad when you're aiming. So you're going to hold down left trigger and use the D-pad. You're going to hit him once, immediately move to the right, and then you should uh, avoid anything. Immediately move to the right here once he goes down. Sometimes he will go to the right. If he does, just restart the checkpoint and just make sure he always goes left. Here, you can get one hit in, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to bypass both of those. That way, we make sure that we don't take any damage. Here, always go to the right again. Sometimes, again, sometimes he will go to the left, but mostly he goes to the left. You can get about three hits here if you're quick enough. And again, I always use the D-pad when I'm aiming down. But you do have to actually aim with your left trigger, or depending on how you set your aiming mode. Here, same thing. Get a few hits, but don't be like me where you miss the first shot. So you could have got three there instead of just two. Uh, again, it's random depending on if he'll actually go down like this or if he'll do what he did last time. That I can't help you with because it is random. Always aim a little bit high for your first shot. And then you can aim on him for the second. Now you might be able to get three in here. And then he'll do his little turn around and then you just start back on him. So again, he's going to do his little turn, go to the right and get you a few more hits. 
And that should be it. Hopefully you've completed it. It's gonna be a quick time scene here. You follow the prompts and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It has been my pleasure to bring chapter one to you all. Chapter one is complete, and now we can finally move on to chapter two. Don't forget to leave a like. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Follow us on Discord. Link is always in the description, as well as in a comment on the video. Become a member. Help us continue to do what we love to do. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.